master list of all the things I wanted to try. And so I just started messing around and trying various things in the air fryer. And the video started with, I was going to cover a lot of the simple ways that I use my air fryer. What started as a one-off video is probably going to end up being a four or five part series that might end up me doing a 30 day challenge where I only cook with my air fryer. That's it. I only use my air fryer to cook for 30 days. So let me know in the comments below if you guys be interested in that. But if you are excited for more air fryer recipes, please give the video a thumbs up. If you are new around here, please subscribe. And what I'm going to do is give away three... I'm going to pick three winners to win a copy of my best selling recipe book and my brand new pizza lovers recipe book. So what I want you to do is let me know in the comments below what is your favorite way to use your air fryer. And I have six different recipes in here. So you're going to tell me your favorite way and then you're going to tell me what you're going to make from this video. Six different recipes you saw in the intro, a little boom, 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 boom of all the different recipes I'm going to show you in today's video. I'll make sure to have in the description below any of the recipes that or more complex that require a lot of different various components. I'll make sure to have those in the description below so you can have that recipe to refer back to. If you guys show love on this video, if you guys show me that you guys love air fryer videos, you guys want to learn more about how to use your air fryer, I will run with you guys. You just show love, just show me some love. I will spend my time being as creative as possible and innovating as much as possible with my air fryer. And so the air fryer I have, I've had four different air fryers. The one that I have now is unbelievable. It's the Instant Pot Vortex. A lot of you guys on IG have told me that you guys use that one as well. But yeah, it's unbelievable. This video is already got a lot in it, so I'm gonna stop talking. Let's get into the first recipe. So 964 lean ground beef, when cooked in an air fryer, really holds on to the moisture. It stays super juicy, and that's a hard thing with very lean ground beef, is it, it's, it's hard for it to hold on to its moisture, and you have to be very careful with how you cook it. Eight minutes at 350, four ounce patty, unreal. Mm. All right, so today we are back at it. This is a multi, multi-day task with all the air fryer innovation, testing, etc. So I have some leftover 964 lean ground beef. And what I'm gonna do is make some cone dippers. And I think it's like gonna be eight grams of carbs per cone dipper. Unbelievable, super easy. So I'm gonna show you guys how I'm gonna make that right now.
these are unbelievable, but just make sure you let them cool because I literally just burnt the hell out of my mouth. But yeah, I mean, they're unbelievable. They're super crunchy and just a great way to, I mean, if you, you can literally have anything, you can have ground beef, chicken, whatever left over and you can roll, or it doesn't even have to be left over. This is like something that you could have at, if you were to have like a party with a bunch of people over, appetizer, etc. And what I do is dip it in Bolt House Farms Ranch, which is a great ranch alternative, super macro friendly, but I don't know if you guys can, oh, it's freaking hot. Oh, I don't know if you guys can see the steam. Wow, it's hot. Reminds me of like, when you made, uh, what are those things called? Pizza, pizza rolls growing up? And so you were so hungry and you cooked them and you knew every single time you needed to let them cool. But every time you make them, you're just so hungry. It's like, it's the food that you make when you're really, really hungry and you don't have patience. And what do you do every single time? You don't let them cool down and you burn. It's like an atomic bomb in your mouth. And so you burn your mouth every time. These are not to that extent. They're not going to burn you that crazy, but my, I definitely did burn my mouth. But yeah, they're really damn good. So definitely give these a try. Now let's go on to the next recipe. I belong, I belong to you. I belong, I belong to you. Do just what you want. Too good to be true, guys, this is absolutely absurd. If there was anything, it was one recipe you took from this air fryer, everything air fryer video. Man, this one will, and they're all changing, they're all so good. I don't put out recipes that suck, you know? Wow, 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 wow. Wow! Mm. All right, let's get on to the next recipe.
So you guys are gonna hear me say this all the time, but reheating food is one of the best ways that you can use an air fryer. But the potato chips are unbelievable. I mean, I mean, listen to the crunch. Incredible. I mean, we can be crunching all day. The super important part with those chips is to thinly cut them. And I'll make sure that they'll cook and bake all the way through and get nice and crispy. And then reheating food, so like halfway through, it was five minutes in, I moved the potato chips to the side once they've cooked a good bit. And then I'll add in my salmon, which I had already meal prepped. And then I'll add in my vegetables, which I had left over. And now you just have a full meal that you reheated half of it, you made half of it, and it's absolutely delicious. Yeah, so, and the kicker is the salmon. The salmon stays so good. Hope you guys are staying safe throughout this whole quarantine period and the social distancing, and I hope you're using this as a time to cultivate a lot of new skills. Learn about how to use your air fryer better to where whenever life gets normal again, you'll have this base of knowledge of how to use something to where when you don't have as much time, you'll be efficient at using it. So that's something to keep in mind throughout this whole process. Yeah, if you want more air fryer recipes like this, please give the video a thumbs up. It lets me know that you guys really enjoy this stuff. This video is taking me like, a while to make, but super worth it. So next up, I'm going to meal prep. One thing I love to do is meal prep up my protein waffle recipe. And what I'm gonna do is meal prep it. And then what I like to do is freeze them. So I'm gonna freeze them and then tomorrow, I'm gonna show you guys how I take my toaster waffles, frozen toaster waffles, and then reheat them in the air fryer and how good they are.
guys, these waffles are absolutely incredible. Like, insanely incredible. I got a crunch to them. Yeah, this is such a great recipe because it takes like maybe 10 minutes to prep all the waffles and then you have 12. And then those Dash uh, mini waffle makers are like $9.99 on Amazon. I'll have my Amazon storefront, like where I have all my cooking tools linked in the description below so you guys can check that out. But no need to, to buy. I mean, the macros on these are absolutely crazy. No need to buy any waffles from the store. Like these are so damn good. Mm. Mm. Damn, this video is so fire. <laughs> start to see a theme. I love to cook anything and then pair it with something I already had meal preps because I, I cook a lot and I make a lot of recipes and usually I have a lot left over. We just launched our brand new FDL Pizza Lovers recipe book. Like each slice you saw right here is only 70 calories and it has eight grams of protein per slice. So super stoked on how the book turned out. It was absolutely amazing. All of you guys that pre-ordered it are absolutely loving it thus far. And the best part about the frozen vegetables is it's so easy. Just literally throw it in there and throw it in the air fryer. Boom, you're good to go. So, I mean, if you were trying to get the carrot like really roasted and crispy like the broccoli, the broccoli will be annihilated. It would be yeah, burnt to a crisp. So you just gotta keep that in mind. If you want to get the carrots the same level, you'll just need to take the broccoli out and then cook the carrots longer. But, so, so good. And then chicken breast, of course. And my recipe for my perfectly baked chicken breast is already on the channel. It's on the video, my secret weapon fat loss meal. So go check that one out if you wanna learn how to make my perfectly baked chicken breast. Cause it is, it's a game changer also cause you can reheat it and it's still super duper moist. I know you love it. You guys love that word. And that's going to wrap up today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Remember, give the video a thumbs up. If you are excited for more air fryer recipes, please subscribe if you are new around here. Remember, let me know in the comments below what is your favorite way to use your air fryer and then which recipe you are going to use from this air fryer tutorial video. These six awesome recipes. Remember when you guys show love on this video, it tells me that you guys want more air fryer videos like this. And I'm gonna, like I said, I wanna make this four or five part series, maybe a 30 day challenge where I only cook with it. If you guys show me, give me the feedback, then I will most definitely make it happen. Love you guys, appreciate you guys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Breaks come.